Welcome to Firefly SUP Drive's video instructional series 201, how to replace the battery in your wireless controller. This should be done every spring, beginning of the season, so you have a fresh battery. Lay your controller with the button away from you, flip it over, and then pull out the strap. On the, from the left hand side. That'll expose the opening for the battery. Take a quarter, just put it in the slot, turn it Now to get the backing off once it's loose or unlocked, roll up a piece of tape and press it on the back case and there it pops out no problem that prevents you to, you don't have to put a screwdriver in there that might mess up the uh, waterproof seal you want to use tape now the battery's got two tabs holding it in little metal tabs you want to be careful not to bend those so you want to lift it on the side away from the tabs again with your piece of tape pushing it down on the battery and lifting away from the tabs keep those tabs in place and intact now the wireless controller uses a standard over-the-counter 2032 button battery make sure when you put your new battery in you take off the protective cover on the one side Drop it in, making sure the positive side is facing up, and slide it in behind the tabs, underneath the tabs, carefully. Remember how you had the cover oriented? Put it back into place and turn it about an eighth of a turn should lock it into place. Replace the strap. By sliding it through the slot, you'll have to push down on the inside to keep the Velcro from catching on the edge of the slot. A little bit of finessing how to do it. There you go. Are you ready for the season? Let's make sure it pairs up with our battery. Shouldn't change anything. Battery's looking for its wireless controller. One push on the button, and there it pairs up. You're ready to go.